Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is part five on my series on creating a 3D cockpit for the airplanes that you have that don't have a 3D cockpit. And this is going to be about the lighting. Maybe some of you have had a little problem when you tried to fly at night that your cockpit wasn't lit up very well. Well, I want to show you how to take care of that. So if you've been following along in this series, you know that we downloaded the Dash 8 from the X-Plane forum and it did not have a 3D cockpit. And I created this one and I added some stuff to the PNG file. I put in a, a dash up here and a side panel here. And I'll go over how to do that in a later video. But this video is just going to be quickly to show you how you can get your lighting to work properly. So here we are in broad daylight and everything looks fine. But what happens when we go to say an evening flight? Well, let's just change the time here and apply that change. And you'll see that nothing is really lit up other than the instruments themselves. Now, depending on the airplane that you're working with, even the instruments may not show up, and that can be a real problem. But for the Dash 8, the instruments are there, but we don't get a really good look at the panel, and the lighting inside is not that great. And the solution for this is done in Plane Maker. So we have to open up our airplane. So let's just get this guy open. Remember, we open the .acf file, the Dash 8. So 3D Cockpit, Dash 8, looking good. We're going to open this up. And now what we're going to do is go to Viewpoints, and we're going to make some adjustments there. Actually, what we're going to do is add lighting in the panel. Let's go up here to Standard Viewpoint, and we have the General tab where we changed our viewpoint. Remember when we had the cube in there, we moved our eyes around. And then we have the Cockpit, and then we have interior lighting. And here is where you're going to make some changes so you have the proper lighting in the cockpit. On the left, we have the lighting for the 2D cockpit. And on the right, we have the 3D cockpit. Now, since the airplane did not have a 3D cockpit, chances are there's just nothing but zeros up here, or there are some numbers, but the lights are not in the right place or for whatever reason. So we're going to have to make some changes here to get some light in the cockpit. Now this can look intimidating, but it's really not that bad once you understand what these things are. So we have cockpit light one, two, and three. So we really only need to deal with one light for our cockpit. You can add more if you want, but one will work just fine. Of course, this depends, again, on the airplane that you are working on and how the developer put it together. But for the Dash 8 and other airplanes I've done, one light seems to be okay. So with that, we're going to work on just one light, and this applies, of course, to the others. So what do these numbers mean? We have red, green, and blue. So these are colors that you combine together to create a different color. And if we go to developer.xplane.com site for their Plane Maker manual, you can come down here to the 3D cockpit lighting and they tell you what this is. So we're going to use the values of 111 so it's full white, but know that you can play with these numbers and come up with different colors for your evening. Maybe you want maybe that red look, or you could even have green for night vision. But we're going to stick with the 111 just to keep it simple. So let's get back into Plane Maker. So we have our 111, so that means it's going to be all white. Now, you should be familiar with these numbers. Remember when we positioned that cube in the airplane, we had to set the longitude, the latitude, and the vertical in feet from that magical position wherever the developer placed that when he designed the airplane. Some use the nose, some use the center of gravity. So we're going to have to determine that to place this light, and that's what we're going to do. We are going to put this light 
in the cockpit. So I have set everything to zero here. And what this is going to do is show us where that point is. So what we want to do is be looking at our airplane over here. And if you hit the space bar, we end up with a wire view. And this is going to show us where those lights are. The way to do that would be just to move them around and see where they show up. So on light one, if I was just to hit this big button here, like, well, something moved. What was that? Let's go the other way. Okay, so here is that light. And if we go to zero, okay, that tells you where the zero location is on this airplane. Now, we can hit keys A, S, and W. So we have A to rotate it. We have S and W and E. You might want to write those down. But we want to get a look where we can see where that light actually is. So here's our light. So we need to move it into our cockpit. So if we come up here to our numbers, we have the long, lat, and the vertical. Well, if this is zero, how many feet is it to oh, somewhere in the middle of the cockpit? Well, we're going to come over to these numbers here, and let's just pick a number. Let's just try 10 feet. Okay, that's actually looking pretty good. Now we might, maybe we can go 11 feet. But let's just stay for 10. And now all we have to do is move it up. Now, since we're still in this side view and we know that we're right here, if we go vertically, we can place this little light inside the cockpit. So which way do we go? Well, I don't know. Let's pick a number. Let's go up. Well, okay, that's working. So one foot, two foot, you can see it's moving up. And okay, now we have it possibly in the middle of the cockpit. That's looking pretty good. So now if we use this key, it's kind of hard to see it there this way, but we're right in the middle of the airplane. We know that because that's where we started out with zero, zero, zero. So we may want to move this left or right, but that's probably not necessary since this is going to be a light in the cockpit. So we're just going to leave that there for now. And let's move down to the width, size, pitch, and heading settings for this light. And this is where we're going to set the intensity of our light. So uh, since we have it set for flood, you have options down here. And I leave it at flood because it's a cockpit light. So we're going to flood the whole cockpit. And you can experiment with this and you can use a spotlight and then you can aim the spotlight at your instrument panel. You can experiment with this in a lot of different ways. But just for this tutorial, we're going to leave it on flood. And so all we have to really do is worry about the size. And I suggest you just start with something huge. And so we're going to go, well, let's just go 30. And you can see how big that light's going to be. Now, don't worry, it's not going to be shining out the windows of the airplane or anything. But if you start this big, you're going to see what the effect is in the airplane. And then you can start changing these numbers. And if you want, you can play with the width and start getting it focused this way. Now, when you do this, it's going to really make a difference on how bright it is and what it's aiming at. So start with this and then experiment with the different settings here. Again, a lot's going to depend on the airplane you have and what you want. So we're going to leave it here at 30. Better yet, let's just make it 50 to make sure we don't have any problems. And let's just see what that does in the airplane. But first, before we go to the airplane, is go to standards miscellaneous objects and see where it says we have our cockpit you probably have outside showing so this is lighting we need to change that to inside if you don't do that you're not going to get any light and you'll be like me running around trying to figure out why the lights don't work okay once we got that done we're going to go to file save and then we're going to open it up in X-Plane. 
All right, here we are in the airplane again in a sunny afternoon. Pretty bright. Now I have three monitors and I've got it on one, so that's why this looks so funny. So normally I'm going to be up in here somewhere. But anyway, let's just go to flight configuration. We're going to change the time of day to nighttime. And here we have it. Now we can actually see the panel. And I have programmed two keys on the keyboard for brightness. And I can get the panel brighter or darker in the evening time now. So this is actually pretty good. And I don't think I'm going to change this at all. Because, to be honest with you, this took me days to get working. So, you need to know right up front that you're going to run into difficulties doing this. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. I don't know exactly why I went through all these steps in Plane Maker and I got everything set where, where I thought was right. And then when I opened up the airplane, it, well, it just didn't work. So one of the things I did in X-Plane is I went up here to our settings and I lowered the visual effects down to medium because sometimes the cockpit didn't show up. And so I moved this around to medium and then the cockpit showed up and everything was right. Other times when I've done this, it wouldn't work either. And then all of a sudden it's working. So I'm not really sure exactly what went wrong or where I had trouble. I know is now that it works. So you're going to have to experiment with this. I'm sorry I don't have all the answers here, but know that you can get lighting at night. Yeah, just stick with it. It's not that difficult. It's just time consuming and requires a, a bit of patience. So hang in there. So here's some tips for you. I was able to get my cockpit to work in high, but it doesn't work well in the maximum for visual effects. I get some graininess for some reason. So I have to keep it here when flying these airplanes. And as you can see, it's a little cleaner, a little sharper look, obviously, with the higher settings there. But when you're trying to do this, it's going to be necessary sometimes to load up another airplane. Don't just reload that airplane, but reload another airplane and then come back to the one you're working on. And you might even have to try starting X-Plane over again to see if that helps. And obviously make sure you save what you're doing in Plane Maker. Uh, that's going to make a big difference. And again, in Plane Maker you want to make sure that your miscellaneous objects for your cockpit you have inside selected. So that's it for this video on trying to get your lights to work. I hope you can get them working. I had a bit of a struggle with this. I hope you don't have to go through all I went through. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. If you have any questions or want to leave a comment, that would be great. So thanks again for watching and God bless.